For this blog post, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I want to talk about something uh, that has actually come up a lot in my dealings with uh, teachers that work for me, but also dealing with teachers whom I'm giving advice to is that you really want to think, you want to try to think like a manager, not necessarily like you want to become a manager, but you want to think on that level about decisions that you're making. You want to see how you fit into the larger organization. Wherever you are at any given moment uh, needs to be understood in terms of a career arc. And the length of that arc, ideally, is four years. Uh, think of it this way. You come into the job and you're trying to figure things out. It gets sloppy you're struggling, you don't feel really good about the job you're doing for the whole first year. Maybe you try different things. In the second year, you start getting comfortable. You start figuring out things that work and things that don't work. And you get better and better at doing the things that work. Third year, maybe people start recognizing that you're doing a good job. Okay, so what happens in the fourth year? You do another year of good work and you get recognized again. Good. And the next year, the fifth year, you're going to do even better work. And the sixth year, even better work. So are we just progressing better and better and better? That is to say, when you get to year 10, is the quality level at year 10 better than year, let's say, three? Okay, there's something missing here. And what's missing is the idea that an institution is not actually a thing. It is a process. It's a process you go through. If you're teaching Macbeth, and let's say you love teaching Macbeth, and you're the school's Macbeth teacher, say you're the university's Macbeth teacher, and you've been teaching Macbeth for 12 years, let's say. Some people, 20, 30 years, they've just been doing it for that long. Okay, this is a thing you are expert at. You've done it again and again and again and again and again and again. You know Macbeth like the back of your hand, one would assume. And you understand how kids interface with Macbeth pretty well, maybe? Okay, after 12 years, one would, I think, yeah. And so you're going to keep doing Macbeth, right? You're going to keep doing that, right? Well, okay. But what are we asking the kids to do? When they come to your class, what are we asking them to do? We are asking them to try something new. Well, how can we ask them to try something new if we ourselves do not know how to model the trying of something new? That's one reason. Another reason is that education doesn't work if it's static. Actually, no business works if it's static. Having looked at all these different schools and operated in these different schools, I can tell you that the most satisfying environment to work in is, a, is an environment of crisis. Because that's when people are on their toes. That's when people are thinking creatively. That's when people are trying to solve problems. What happens when everything is working smoothly is that no one questions how things are being done. They just, they just get easier and easier and easier. And that's not how education works. That's not how invention works. You have to stress the system so that people can be inspired to be their best, so people can be motivated to be their best, so people have a reason to be their best. So you've got to think of yourself not as occupying a position. You have to think of yourself not as occupying a position, but as going through a process. And you have to be actively involved in helping other people go through their processes. But a perfectly healthy career life cycle is four years. It goes like this. Year one, you go in, you experiment, you build relationships. You do not do your best work. In fact, many times the decisions you make are not percentage moves. They are moves that are often likely to fail, but you need to take those risks in order to develop, uh, in order to find out those things, those ways in which you can make an impact that are unique to the potential of you plus the situation, right? That's the first year. Second year, you start to find your groove. Um, you can still make mistakes, but you start to be, become conscious of those moments where you really deliver quality. And you start to move in ways that begin to maximize those moments. Now year three, it is now something that is recognizable outside of you. It is now something you could conceivably teach to somebody else. That's the third year. In the fourth year, 
that's when you really need to think about handing off what you have created to somebody else. You need to give someone else a chance to pick up that ball and move it forward. Do you need to end your employment in this institution? No. Do you need to leave the department that you're in? Um, sometimes people need to do that. Um, sometimes that's a really healthy move. That's a real opportunity for them to begin creating out value elsewhere. But the real point is you need to redefine yourself. You need to create a new mission for yourself. And you need, in that fourth year, the process that you're most heavily involved with, most sincerely invested in, actively invested in, is the process of moving somebody else into your role. That's how organizations evolve. That's how human organizations evolve. That's how we become bigger than ourselves. We are the kind of species that we are because we know how to create institution amongst ourselves. We know how to create an intelligence beyond the individual. We know how to create something that the larger network of human beings sustains without us. That's what makes us human.